What is a quality man? If you want to be, that's an important question. And more importantly, the answer to this question. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what traits you need to develop to become a high-profile man or quality man. The Basics of Male Quality Traits This article uses sound psychology to get to the heart of what makes a quality man. Each individual's traits either directly affect their personality, or more or less indirectly enable them to acquire important life goods such as status, resources, partners, and friends. To keep the list concise, traits are high level and can be further divided into subgroups. Number 1. He is emotionally intelligent. Emotional intelligence, as defined by Goldman and Tradbury, includes many important personality traits that make people successful in both life and relationships, including self-awareness, one's own emotions, impulses, personality traits, passions, autonomy, temporary pleasure, patience, guts, social recognition, emotions of others and social dynamics, relationship management, build and maintain positive relationships. While some psychologists dispute that emotional intelligence exists, as a measurable trait. We all know that the above subgroups of emotional intelligence traits exist and that they are I agree to differ. These are all important qualities for a worthy man as they greatly affect his ability to gain social status, move forward in life, flourish as a man, and ultimately relate effectively to others. This includes his ability to make friends, make allies, and form healthy relationships with women, confidence plus self-control. Some people completely misunderstand emotional intelligence. They think sitting on a mat doing yoga, crying, and being vulnerable or sensitive attitudes to life. It's not. Confidence and self-control separate a man who has lost his life from a man who knows where he is going. When you're confident, you don't spend your life asking, what are my passions? Because confident men know what their passions are. And with self-management, they work to get there. This is his nun cluster of high-profile male traits. Personal drive, the ability to identify what you want to achieve with your drive, and the mental skills to plan while learning, adapting, and maintaining your course. Knowing what you want sets quality men apart who stand out from the crowd following what others want from them. And no-nonsense self-control separates bum from the high achievers of this world. Inferior men with nowhere to go chase immediate addiction to alcohol and drugs without considering tomorrow. In social awareness plus relationship management. Ditto. Some people think of it as long conversations or holding hands. It could be if the situation calls for it. But that's not all. Social awareness is equivalent to self-awareness applied to social situations. This helps prominent men understand the social dynamics around them. Who is in control, who is confident, who is chasing who, who is obedient, and who cannot count. Social perception also helps men adjust their behavior appropriately to their environment and circumstances, laying the foundation for anything related to attractiveness, charisma, and social skills. Relationship management uses social awareness to build a network of positive, value-added relationships. These are all traits that can be enhanced with focus. In a way, this whole website can be seen as one big platform for improving your emotional intelligence. Number 2. He has a purpose. When a man knows what he wants and likes, it takes a minimum of motivation to set his goals. Purpose, in the words of Simon Sinek, means that a person has a reason. And people who know their why walk through life with confidence and purpose. He demonstrates the charismatic leadership qualities of people who seem to know their way, even in dark and difficult situations. He is especially attractive to those who do not know where they are going. The purpose is to separate men who spend their nights watching football and drinking beer from those who work and make plans to get through life. Example, James Bond. Another reason James Bond is charismatic and attractive to women is that he always seems to be hunting bigger. Goal reversal. Too much concentration. A constant drive to reach a specific goal will definitely increase your chances of achieving that goal. But depending on your goals, it can come at the expense of your overall personality. The stereotype of the mad genius with bad air and mess is the story of too many driving dudes. And you can see the limits there. Can you chat with someone who lives and breathes black hole exploration? Can such a man sustain himself in a celebrity crowd, an art gallery, or a housewarming party? Exactly, it's out of place and sticks out like a thumb. Will he be able to have a happy relationship? Barely. He is often not a good partner, friend, or person to talk to even if he is too enthusiastic. Being a high-profile guy also requires a certain balance. And if people aren't your goal in life, you need to develop social skills to become highly qualified and happier men. Number 3. He takes care of himself. A purposeful and aspiring man sees himself as a machine. And they have the attitude that the more they take care of their machines, the further they go. Also, they know how things work, and they know that the exists or appears dichotomy is nonsense. The two feet on each other. Everyone judges a book by its cover, so you should pay attention to that book's cover as well. A very good man always. Eat well, training, keep learning and invest in yourself. A quality man is like a quality wine. You met them today and they are good. You are with them and tomorrow they will be very good. They will be with them until the day after tomorrow and they are wonderful. 
dot 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 and by those around them because of their leadership qualities. Equally important, high-profile men are also responsible to those around them. Taking responsibility for things and people makes top-class men top-class leaders. He has high self-esteem. Note here, it's self-esteem, not self-confidence. Confidence is different. Confidence rises and flows based on achievements and skills in specific areas, but self-esteem remains. Confidence is based on strengths and achievements, while self-esteem is based on losses and weaknesses. Hashtag 5. He creates his own self-esteem. Why is that important? Because as long as you rely on external forces to support your ego and self-esteem, you will always continue to rely on those external forces. And, of course, dependence is the root cause of all potential weaknesses. Indeed, few people are able to reach a level of complete independence from consequences, the external environment, and the opinions of others. But high-profile men have far more control over their self-esteem than most other men. I call this the anti-fragile ego. Men with indestructible egos enjoy greater self-confidence, greater inner strength, and greater emotional resilience in the face of adversity. A man with anti-vulnerability is confident in his opinion because he does not base his self-esteem on the approval of others, even if it's unpopular. These high-profile men aren't afraid to stand up for their beliefs because they don't need your approval. He seems to have stronger convictions than anyone else, and everyone respects those who have convictions, especially in uncertain times. You are a rock in the hurricane. Number 6. He is assertive. Assertiveness is the sweet spot that allows the high-quality man to speak up for his rights without undermining others, expect and demand fair treatment while treating others respectfully, seek power while respecting others' right to self-determination. The high-quality man adopts this mantra of assertive communication. Say what you mean, mean you what you say, without being mean. In contrast, the passive man is too afraid to speak and enforce his boundaries, and that puts him in a weak position in life. Whenever the passive man meets bullies and manipulators, he lets them take advantage of him, and the aggressive man instead takes advantage of others' lack of power and assertiveness. He hides behind a facade of honesty and getting things done, but it's just a cover-up for bullying. 6.2. He has a secure attachment style. When a man has a secure attachment style, he is emotionally mature. A man with a stable attachment style feels comfortable with intimacy. They are not afraid to love, open up, and be abandoned at the same time. Men with avoidant or fearful attachment styles find it difficult to maintain long and strong relationships. Vulnerability Vulnerability is a valuable trait because it underlines the courage to be yourself, including defects. Men who are truly vulnerable are more likely to step out of the hamster wheel of faux pas and achieve an inner self-confidence with contagious poise. The vulnerability also ensures that he is real. You really get to know him. He is not wearing a mask. He is more honest. Accepting your flaws, including your darker side, gives you the freedom to speak your mind. He recommends. He doesn't have to prove his manhood by abusing others. Balanced and high-quality men's. Finally, please note the following. Almost everything to do with people is about balance and compromise. You can take in just about any positive aspect, but taking it to extremes can be a disadvantage. Taking maximum care of yourself creates narcissism. Too many vulnerabilities can be an ineffective crybaby excuse, and sticking to your values no matter what can lead to big mistakes. In fact, as Benazir notes in his The Tao of Dating, composure is another sign of a quality man. Another sign